from Bacaj. You see there where we are, and I'm talking to the author there, Pascal Berchi from Switzerland. And uh, he was a fellow cyclist, and I just saw his movie, which made me um, a, bit, a bit romantic about my life and all my bike travels. And this man has just come off the road, uh, a six-year road trip that happened organically. And Pascal, so how, how are you? I'm very fine, thank you. And how are you finding the festival? Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. You know, it's the first time I, I, I come to France to, to promote my, my movie. It's just a new movie, you know. I just uh, uh, started the movie in May last year. So, yeah, I'm very pleased to be here. And, yeah, the public is amazing, so it's cool. Yeah, yeah it's great because, you, I mean, you know, you traveled in an era where, you, you know, your footage in the film was great. It seemed like it was mostly done just with mobile phones or did you have a proper camera as well? No, I, I, I got a proper, uh, what do you call it, proper, proper camera, yeah. I got a reflex, like, um, because, yeah, I love photography, I'm totally amateur, but, and, yeah, I was taking pictures and some short movie, and after one year and a half, I was, I remember I was in the middle of nowhere in Australia, and I say, man, that's amazing, this experience is incredible, generosity and all stuff like that, and I say, I must to, to share that with public. So then I start to think about to make maybe a book and publish a book and maybe a movie. I have no clue about that. And when I came back in Switzerland six years after, you know, a publisher came to me and a guy to make a movie come to me, came to me and yeah, just then just going you know right. easily you know so it's it's amazing yeah yeah well it's just like your trip you're just following the road that naturally took you six you left you were an electrician yeah. i got from watching your movie and you decided to go on a bike trip undetermined amount of time and how did it turn into six years yeah it's true you know many good things uh, happened to me uh we thought looking for and uh and i say fuck it's not what uh, because i stop my my journey now uh, the the things will stop you know yeah. it's just about positive uh, positive mind you know you positive and the positive things come to you and that's exactly what i do now and every all the good things come to me it's just amazing it's just a, a continuation of of this journey yeah right yeah well i know the feeling well yeah because when i was on the road as well there was so much positiveness and positivity and you i didn't get drawn in and all of a sudden your life can continue in that manner. And so what are you doing? So you're just promoting your book. You didn't go back to being an electrician. And are you living in Switzerland still? Is that your base? Yeah, I came back in Switzerland now uh, because for to make uh, to financial my trip, I rent my small house in Switzerland. And I came back to my house now. And uh, yeah, with the book and with the, the movie and, and I do some conferences and I'm... I don't want to say it's a full part job, you know, because I don't want that, but it's still enough to make a bit benefit and to live cheap life, but very amazing life because my, my, my thought about living now is totally different than six years ago. And uh, you can live in an expensive country like Switzerland, but with a very cheap life. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's... That's the beauty that you learn on the road is like you don't need, like you said in the movie, you know, people ask you how much did it cost? And it's like, you know, your one month was some people's one month would they pay in petrol to go to and back it's and forth to work. It's true. People spend in Switzerland like 5,000 bucks for, for going two weeks in, in holiday. You know, it's amazing. 5,000 bucks. I can survive six months around the world, you know. And it's just like a different priority about your money. And. You know, I, I wrote something like on. Uh, I read something on the book, uh, in a small book uh, from Frederic Lenoir, okay. uh, and he was writing like the. I don't know if I can s uh, traduce that in English, but in, in the. the in the, French. The, no, I will try in English. <laughs> okay. uh, the superficial needs is very expensive, but the essential needs is ch is gr is free. Basically, right? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah, what, that, right, exactly. What more, what more can you, how, how, how can you go better than that? Yeah, right, maybe, yeah. No, no, it's my, it's my thought now, it's my, my mind, and uh, just uh, taking the 100% of the, the good things every day, you know, yeah. and don't, don't live with regrets, you know, and yeah. you just make it happy and make it easy, yeah, you know. Well, it's just like the woman I, who, who um, Sandrine, who started the festival. She did a year trip, she came, things happened, and six years, five years later, look at this festival. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, if, 
if your patient, if you 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 do something with your patient, you know, um, you talk with passion because it's your baby, it's your things, you know, it's it's easy like to to translate to give the same passion to the people, you know. Mm -hmm. You don't play. It's true. Yeah, the passion, passion from the heart, all very, very important. Uh, Philippe, can you just get this map? And, uh, and uh, there you go. There's uh, Pascal. Just point out a couple of things on the map there, Pascal. I'm talking here. New York? Yep. All right. <laughs> you know, I've never been there. Uh, well, you know, I was... Quickly. I was in Alaska, you know, uh, first, yeah. Okay, hold on. I was in New Zealand in April. Uh, end of April, my visa stopped. It was fucking really snow coming and I took a big flight to Alaska 20 hours I think and in 20 hours I find spring again <laughs> and that was amazing okay <laughs> so and, then? and then yeah sorry yep. like that. Okay, okay. and then take yeah the, take the mic. yeah right and then I start from uh, from Anchorage my plan was to go to start from Dead Horse in North uh, Alaska I went down there all the Dalton Highways, uh, Rocky Mountain, British Columbia, and all the amazing uh, national park in US, right? Yeah, yeah. And down to Mexico, finding a new culture, a new, a new, new language, and uh, that was amazing, man. The happiness of the people, smiling everywhere, dancing, drinking coffee, vodka, uh, no vodka, um, tequila and, uh, and beer. Yeah, it was party everywhere, it was people was walking, freely and and very uh, happy and say hello to everybody taking time you know just taking time that we we, we lost in 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 europe i guess and um, that was great i didn't uh, i have directly a good feeling so i went down all the way down south america and once i was in ushuaia i say okay now that's the first time i'm going heading north back home <laughs> so i went north and i i just went the last continent, like I want, really want to see because I got a lot of prejudice and fake uh, thought about Africa uh, coming through media and all stuff like that. And since the first day I arrived in Africa, I said, "Man, that's amazing!" Seems like I start a new trip. Everything was different. People was most very welcoming. Open their homes, open their house, and everything. Was, yeah, again, was different. Animals, culture landscapes, uh, foods, e everything. And I really love Africa. That's still the, the most um, amazing uh, continent I cross because it seems like it's a bit of still like an adventure there. You go out 10 meters of, from a main road and you feel like the first white man there, you know? And that's amazing. So I love Africa and then we went back to Iraq and around to uh, Kurdistan and down to Balkan and back home, August 2018. I think you skipped a little bit of your journey here through China. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. That was uh, the beginning, right, right. Yeah, we missed a bit. We miss, we missed just 20,000 kilometers. Yeah, only missed 20,000 kilometers. <laughs> well, here you go. Yeah, China down today over there. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, maybe a bit more. Yeah, yeah right. This is <laughs> 30,000 kilometers. But you know, like here, here you go. One person's dream another person's dream, another one, and then you just put all those dreams into one trip. <laughs> yeah, the plan was, the, the map of the world was there, the original one, I will take it. Huh? Okay, yeah, tough one, to, tough one to follow on a bicycle. Right, and I start this journey with this one, and I say, man, I will put some stickers everywhere, it would be a dream one time to go there. So I put some stickers and I say, how oh, I can, uh, Make uh, connected. connected. Uh, connect all these points, and without taking too much flight, without going back too much, and yeah, th your road is drawing, you know, uh, very easily. You know, you just follow the season, and and that's it. You know, so that was the plan. Uh, place was dream to to go there, came true now, and but now I have many uh, some other dream. You know, like that's a that's a good thing with the dreams. Dream is infinity, right? Yes. Yeah. And, and the good thing about your dreams and with your movie and what you're doing is you're planting seeds for many, many other dreams. And Pascal, I want to thank you for that. You're, uh, you're, giving, you're giving dreams to the world. You're living your dream. And you're, you're showing the world out there that our world is a safe, wonderful, and beautiful world. I'm pleased. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, uh, thank you, Joe. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you very much. Joe Diamidi, Telly Monbron, signing off once again from this excellent festival. See ya.